Hey guys, what is up? It's Card Shuffler 99 here today. Today we are going to be showing the Matt Franco human deck trick. Now, in the Q&A we did uh, recently, uh, um, I said my favorite trick was this trick. So, what we're going to do is some people were asking, uh, what is this trick? I've never seen it before. How is it done? So, that's what we are doing today. So, that's the reason why we're doing this trick. First of all, make sure you check out our Instagram, cardshuffler underscore 99, our Twitter, cardshuffler99, and our Gmail is cardshuffler99 at gmail.com. For any tips, tricks, ideas, stuff like that, hit that like button, subscribe button, and the notification button so the second we post, you guys can check us out. Let's get right into it. All right, guys, so like Robert said, we are going to be showing you the Matt Franco human deck trick. Now, he basically performed this on the AGT finale. Uh, he was basically the first magician to ever win the show, okay? So this is Robert's favorite trick, like he said. Um, so yeah, let's get straight into it. So Robert, I'm gonna start out and I'm going to give the deck a quick riffle shuffle. Is that okay with you? Sure. So basically I'm gonna shuffle the deck here and I want you to confirm, is that a real shuffle? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. That, that is a real shuffle. All the cards push are it in, push it. interlaced. And we'll set that in right there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through the pack here and I'm gonna get a random black card so why not the ace of spades right random black card and what if we get a random red card right there okay so we're gonna use the ace of spades and the two of hearts for this trick and what i'm gonna do here in a second you can actually come around for me um what i'm gonna have you do is you're going to basically use your intuition so i'm gonna set the deck here okay, okay? and if you think this card is black you're gonna set it on this side if you think it's red you'll set it on that side does okay. that make sense to you yeah it does make sense okay so go ahead all right i have red 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 uh, these are definitely all black these three are red i know it these are black square these up these are black black red 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 black that's all right i Why think don't I'm, you stop I'm right there can i go one more yeah sure Okay. So, we're going to stop you. Yeah, we stopped you about halfway through the pack. So here, I'll take, we'll square up the packs here, okay? Okay. And what I'm going to actually do now is I'm actually going to reverse the cards, okay? So now what you're going to do is you're going to put all the red cards on this side and all the black cards on that side. So go ahead and do that as well. Okay. Yeah. And finish the entire pack. Ooh, that one's definitely... These are all red. That's a black one. That's these two are red. And we'll go. This one's red. All right, I'm finished. Okay, perfect. So, you finished the entire pack. You went through the entire deck. I asked you to use your intuition, and you basically came out with these two piles. And again, they were 100% your choice, and you don't know how well you did because obviously you weren't allowed to look at the cards. So here we'll take a look at the two packs. So what I'm gonna do, theoretically, because we did switch the cards up, if you did get these 100% correct, you would have half the reds and half the blacks. Yeah. So let's take a look here and see how you did. If we spread through this pack, you can see we have all the reds and all the blacks. So you did really well over there, but obviously you have to get it right in two separate packs. And obviously you actually, if you see, you actually did pretty well. So that is the trick guys. And anyway, let's get straight into the tutorial. So. What I showed you right there was the Matt Franco human deck trick. Now, if you didn't see the actual video where he performed this, he obviously did it with a real human deck. So he did two parts of the trick. Basically, he had a human deck on stage where everybody, he had a bunch of people holding like a giant card. And then he also did the same trick with, you know, a small pack of playing cards. So what I'm going to do today is I'm showing you how he did the playing card section, um, whether or not this is exactly how he did the human deck part. That's irrelevant because obviously I doubt any of you were ever going to have giant playing cards and you're going to have 30 people on stage to play around with. <laughs> so I'm going to teach you guys how to do the trick just with the normal deck. And this is exactly, he did this with the normal deck. So let's get that straight. Now, what I showed you was the most basic version of the trick. If you didn't see his performance, what he did was he had a human deck and he had a normal deck here. And basically the judge who did, you know, the setting down of the cards he actually got all the cards right except for one card. So basically he had half red, half black, half black, half red, except there was one red card in the black pile. And then with the human deck, 
it was the same thing, basically. There was one red card in the black pile, but it matched. The card was the exact same. So I'm going to show you guys how you can do that um, as well. So basically, what I did in the performance was the most basic version. I'm going to give you guys some more ideas, okay? So all you're going to do to start the trick is you're going to separate blacks and reds, okay? And obviously, if you need a full deck, you don't need a full deck technically, but you're going to split the blacks um, in half. So in this case, 13, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Obviously, because there's 26 black cards, you're going to split that into 13. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, okay? Now, one way I love to perform this trick is actually to do it with two decks. So if you have two of these decks, you can actually have two people doing it at the same time. Now, all you have to do here, um, you can do this a couple different ways, okay? I'm going to explain to you guys how you can actually make kind of a mess up, okay? So... Let's say you wanted to mess up the Ace of Diamonds. All you're going to do is just take the Ace of Diamonds, and you can just sit, slip that anywhere into the black pile. So this can go anywhere into one of the black piles. So you can take any card you want, and you can put it into a black pile. Now, if you only want to do this idea with one uh, with one like deck of cards, what you can actually do here, what this um, kind of putting this random card into the black pile here, what this does is at the end of the trick, uh, when you spread through the cards there will be one red card in the black pile. So you have like half red, half black, but in the black pile, there will be like um, one red card, obviously, and it'll be this card. So what you can do is you can actually have a written prediction if you only want to do this with one deck, and you could say the only card you will mess up will be the Ace of Diamonds, and then that could be your prediction, and that could be a cool way to end the trick. Or if you did this with two decks, what you would do is you would set up both decks in the same way. So you would have half black, ha uh, well, a fourth of the black, a fourth of the red, a fourth of the black with the same card and you'll actually they'll match basically is what would happen so let me explain to you how this actually works so what you're gonna do is you're gonna start with this this is your entire setup you're gonna take the deck out and you're gonna say you're gonna give it a riffle shuffle what you're doing here is you're gonna go through the pack and you're gonna separate it directly in half just like this okay so I have half the cards here half the cards here and I say I'm giving it a riffle shuffle but if you notice here what actually happens when I give this a shuffle is all the black cards are actually getting shuffled together and all the red cards are actually getting shuffled together just like that so once you push it in you should have all the red cards here and all the black cards on the other side however sometimes because riffle shuffles are not always accurate you might have a mistake so what i do is i say i'm going to find a random red card and a random black card which i am doing but i'm actually going to look for mistakes so here i see a black card in the red pile which i'll set down here's another black card so i can just push that over and I can just set another red card down. I spread through make sure everything's okay. Now you see there the red card, the Ace of Diamonds, which I set in the black pile in the beginning is right there. So let's say I did have the red prediction um, on the table and it said the only card you'll mess up is the Ace of Diamonds. You don't want to correct this because this has to stay in the black pile if you're doing that method. If you don't want the idea of kind of like the spectator messing up one card, you don't have to do it. So at this point, what you do is you can have them set the cards down anywhere they want, right? No matter what's happening here, they're setting down red cards first, and then they're going to be setting down black cards next, right? So what I do is I have them go about halfway through. It doesn't matter where they stop, okay? You just have them stop about halfway through, and then you say you switch the cards. Now, this is very important that you do this, because obviously, at the end of the trick, you're going to have half black, half red, right? In both piles. And obviously, as you keep going through, there will be one red card in each black pile, so as you go through, it is self-working, okay? So what you're going to end up happening is you're going to have half black, half red, okay? And half red, half black. Now, what matters is how you spread the deck, okay? So what I do here is I like to bring the piles together, just like that. And because, you know, they did it in different, like, orders, what you have to do is from this side, you're going to spread it left to right. And from this side, you spread it right to left. That way, the reds are going to be on opposite sides, which makes more sense for the trick. Now, even though this is the top card in the pile, most people don't notice that. And you can see there is one off card. As I mentioned in the beginning, if you take any random card from the red pile, you put it in the black pile, it'll appear in the black pile at the end. So like I said, you can have a written prediction on the side that will say, you will mess up the Ace of Diamonds. And at the end of the trick, they'll be like, oh my god, I actually messed up one card. <laughs> and the Magician actually predicted the Ace of Diamonds. Now, let's say you did do this with two decks. Basically what the effect is, if you do this, let's say you have two spectators, right? And you had two different decks of cards set up the same way with the Ace of Diamonds in the black pile in both decks, okay? The end effect, you have both spectators do this with two separate decks. And basically what the end effect is, is both spectators would have messed up the same card. 
So that is what Matt Franco did in his performance. Once again, you set it up the same way. Basically, you take a random card. It could be a random black card, and you put it into the red pile. In this case, I took the Ace of Diamonds. I put it into the black pile. If you do that for both decks, basically, you'll, the both decks will have the same outcome, and that'll be one card messed up. Now, obviously, you don't have to have one card messed up. You can just have that you know, in the red pile, and then you could say, wow, you did a perfect job, or you can have them screw up one card and predict it. So, uh, once again, that is the Matt Franco human deck trick. It's basically a pretty cool color matching card trick. Once again, you can do this with two decks if you wanted to. So if you had two different separate decks, you could actually do the same thing as long as you set up the decks in the same way, uh, the trick will turn out great. So, that is it. If there, you guys have any questions, it is kind of hard to explain, but if you guys have any questions, Feel free to let us know down in the description section below. But basically, once you have that set up, the whole trick is self-working. Uh, so that is the trick, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And this is Card Shuffler 99 I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And peace out.